Oh yeah. I went to a, made a doctor's appointment with my doctor. I've uh, been a family doctor for like 20 years plus or something. And my oldest son and all my kids <coughs> was my my mental health doctor. Uh, when he tried to get into that, he lost uh, dealing with me with mental health for a bit and then uh, went back to doing children. Uh, didn't do that again. I love the guy. Tyner Road Medical Centre. Anyone in eastern suburbs? Even though they're booked out all the time because they're that good, so still recommend them. <coughs> um, but yeah, he said the same thing that uh, one of the people that commented about the aggressive, you know, 10 month cancer. Uh, I'm not exactly like 100% sure what he was saying, but he said it was like the cancer that seems that what I took, the, the, the cancer that affects uh, people that, that don't smoke, like the most, like. Um, or something, and you know, like smokers can get it, but like, I'm like the, the heaviest smoker in the universe, uh, have been smoking since I was 12. Um, but once again, it's another one of those, oh, what a coincidence that I, I just ha I just have it. If it's, it's like, okay, cool, but but he's uh, because <clears throat> I trust him, I don't trust any other doctor that I ever have. Look like, what happened with the steroids. Um, no, we gave you too many, you know, like it's like, okay, um. But say so he, he called, you know, he's giving me MROs. So I'll hear, I'll hear his opinion from what he's getting off them. <coughs> um, yeah, went, went went to JB before to get to get a phone. For, uh, yeah, on contract, you know, brand new one. Figured why not put it on a contract, you know. And in there, I'm like. Because like I have, to, I feel like I have to tell people what's going on. Like I don't want to burden people, and I'm just out trying to you know, be happy and like just be normal. But everyone's like looking at me as I'm talking, and I can't move properly. And it's like I've just like I feel like I look like a junkie or some shit. And I have to explain myself. I'm like I'm I'm dying. I'm not just fucking like. And you know, it's like you know, people like yeah, you know, and the only people you know sat and said you know talk, actually spoke to, and then they're like, oh my god, this is happening. You know. It's, and I just was trying to just brush it off to the guy like, I don't, I don't have long, I've got to go to the doctors. And he's like, you know, yeah. And I'm like, no, like, I, I really don't have long. Like, and he looks like, you know, I say, he's like, yeah, okay. Like, like I'm making videos and stuff. You know, Sits there processing the phone and stuff. Like, and I was like talking and it was obviously, you know, he started thinking like, I think this guy's serious because, you know, he's doing things with the computer and, and like, he's like, oh, you, you can't get it in that site, like with that much, it's like space on it and I'm like sitting there like could she get a different colour and oh yeah 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 kid. you know like so it's obviously in his head like <clears throat> um wonderful guy like I said I'd, I'd say like uh JB Knox's staff are always good and uh but the, so we processed all that and stuff and I said oh this is my YouTube channel like um but then we went to walk out and the person I was with was like oh is one of your you know work members here because they 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 know each other and he's like looked at her and then reached to his microphone or whatever and called out for her, you know like a not just her name but like a you know like a like a like a better colleague's name like you know like a, I can't think of a fucking word when you call somebody something not you know like Lukey instead of Luke you know like <clears throat> so obviously you know his actual friends not just you know works there together and as he was doing it, you can see in his face, he's looking at me like, wait a minute, like, is this actually, this is like, I'm about to find out, you know, because I'm going to get to speak to them. Just, and it was just, yeah, I found that funny because, uh, look, when I, yeah, when it happened, I was like, uh, as soon as she said, oh, he's so-and-so here, I said, look at his face, I was like, oh, wow, that was just, you know, in, in your experience, watching somebody's brain just go, oh, okay, that was full, not a story or, or like, now at least he can walk over and say like, who are they? And, you know, she'll go, rah, 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 rah. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Like, it's not that funny. So, um, yeah, I was talking to my doctor as well. It's like smart man, you know, but it's just saying, everyone seems to say the same things. Like, I don't know what I would have done if I was you. What are you going to do? And then basically it goes around in a circle to, I'm crazy. Which, 
doesn't make any sense how I'm crazy when I'm having to rationalize to other people how they're irrational. Like, you know, it's like, the, it's, it's, it's like the whole thing. Like, <clears throat> I don't go to hospitals. Like, unless I'm dead, um, or my kids need to go. And I especially don't stay there, like I've said. So I went to a hospital because I had a massive headache that drove me there. They walked out and told me I've got cancer. Um, you know, then I got told a couple of days later that I've only got a couple of weeks to live from the cancer. And everyone will now go, yeah, like, you know, I don't know what I would have done. Okay, so from that moment on, right, you'd, you'd be thinking that, you know, I'm not in a stable state of mind. And I know I'm not in a stable state of mind. I've been telling all my close family, friends and stuff like, and they're like, no, you're okay, you're okay. And I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm unstable, like massively, like way further than I've ever been. And they're like, it's all right, we'll come over and give you a hug. Like, I, I'm crazy. Then I call the police. I've spoke to different, seven or nine different police in the past like four days because I kept calling them every time one of them, somebody does something like this. And I'm like, you know, I, I need to tell you this because you might get a phone call for my mental <coughs> like welfare or health check or whatever. And then I explain things like, you know, I want to be left alone to die in my own house. You know, it's the way I want to die happily. Um, I'm not crazy. Otherwise, I'd kill myself. Like, do you have suicidal thoughts? I'm like, yes, of course I do. I'm dying anyways, but I'm not, I don't want to hurt anyone. I'm not going to hurt myself. I'm not going to take my own life. They're like, you sound rational. I'm like, I, right, cause I am, but then I'll hang up the phone. You know, then everyone else is like, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Oh, like I watch your videos and they sound crazy. It's like, um, for all the times that I've said it to everyone, have you ever thought that you're all fucking retarded? Like, and I'm actually normal. And if you just, maybe if you tried to even act like me, you'd be more normal instead of thinking that you, that I'm crazy, especially during this time, like right now in this video where I'm still rationalizing everything, right? And people are probably still sitting there thinking, God, he, God, he looks sick or he sounds this or he, like, instead of just, Accepting that you're dumb, like I've told you all for ages. I don't know. Like, <clears throat> that's that. That's probably the fucking hardest thing. And as I was coming back, <clears throat> driving back from the doctors, <clears throat> I had a whole new realization that maybe I'm actually already dead, and this is hell. That's why the world's so fucked, and that's why I can't like kill myself, or, or I'm not. I'm still here. Because I'm not dying, and I have to suffer, stuck here, in this fucking shithole, with this world. You know, like, on the news this morning, Gary Ablett, you know, senior suing three clubs for concussion. You wanted to play football, cunt. You wanted to also play football aggressively. Like, and now you're complaining that you got head injuries. Like, I got bashed and bullied at school, and the, the government won't, won't give me for it. Now I'm dying of brain shit as well. Like, do I get money for that from the government? No, you're going to sue, sue a, a bunch of people that supported you, right? Playing the sport that you wanted to play, how you wanted to play. But now you want money. The world's so fucking dumb. They closed down the power station last night in New South Wales. Like, power prices are going up again. Like, gas is, expe gas is expensive. It literally, the guy said, gas is expensive. Like... Gas is the most inexpensive thing in the world, but you all sat there and let the government fuck you in the ass, right? And now, <coughs> that's what I mean. I'm like, I'm living in hell. And yeah, why didn't I drive myself into a pole? Like, why am I surrounded by people that are insane telling me that I'm something wrong with me? It's, it's got to be, I'm, I don't know. Maybe the rapture already happened and shit. I'm fucking stuck here. Having to suffer. I, uh, I don't know how long to make these videos or what to add in or fucking I don't know like I said the, it's just you know, give me something to do while I wait oh yeah like 
there's another part of it there. Like I said, like anyone that's got any mental health problems, I'm sure you understand when you know that you're like losing it and you can try and picture what it's like to, you know, be in a situation where you know you could never come back from that. Like I've been there for now a week, like, and everyone's like, oh, you know, why don't you get on the chemo meds or why don't you go get a biopsy or like, I just lost track of what I was saying because it was that fucking mind fucking. So yeah, see you in the next video.